This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. We are back playing some more Starbound and I am here today to show you some very easy ways to make pixels, which is the currency in the game and used for a lot of different things. Now, please note that these are easy ways to make money, not necessarily fast. So these are easy ways, not fast. I have yet to find a fast way to make money. So first of all, what we're going to start with is planting trees, harvesting the wood, and making products, and then selling them to the people at the outpost. And the best item that I found is chairs. You can make chairs. They're going to cost you two logs per chair and they will get you two pixels. Now, while you're out mining and playing around, you're going to mine lots of cobble, which is what you see right here. You can build with that cobble or you can put that cobble to good use, making you money by making doors. Doors are going to cost you three logs and one cobble each, and they will get you three pixels per. The other thing you can make that will take the cobble as well is spears they're going to cost you three logs and three cobble and they will get you four pixels now to make this stuff you're going to need some basic crafting stations which we have here all of these can be made right from the get-go once you start the game you hit c all you're going to have to have is a little bit of wood and you make your inventors table and that's going to allow you to make these other crafting tables that you see here which also are extremely cheap you can see the forge table also only takes a little bit of wood and the workbench takes a little bit of cobblestone and wood so all of this is very easy easy stuff to get when you're first starting off then all you're going to do is plant a crap ton of trees like you see here Go through and harvest them all. And the good thing about these is the starter trees. And this is a gentle star planet that I'm on. So this is a starter planet. All of these starter tre or e trees that you're going to have on your starter planet will drop additional saplings each time you harvest them. So you may start off with two and then you harvest them and then you'll get three. And then you'll harvest them. You may get six or so. And so on and so on. So what we're going to do here is just harvest all of these up and I will show you how much money can be made. So I had no wood on me to start with. Now if we go into my inventory and we look just that one harvest there, I got 228 wood. And we can also go to our trees and if I replant them and when you plant them, you want to plant them close by right next to each other as soon as it's not red anymore that means you can plant it again and that's when you want to plant your next one you can expand your tree farm pretty freaking huge this way and just keep leveling out your ground as you go like i flattened it off here in these areas and just keep flattening and le and planting and flattening and plant planting until you get a huge force that you can just go through and clear down. Next thing we're going to do is look in here. You go over to your chairs and furniture stuff. You can see here your chair is going to cost you 10 timber. If we go over to our timber, one log is going to get you five timber. So like I said, one chair is going to cost you essentially two logs. We're going to go through and craft up all of that. Now that that's all crafted up into timber, we will go into our crafting table, go down to our chair and click over one. And we're going to get 114 chairs. So that is going to equate out to 228 pixels with just that little harvest that we did there. So you can see how you can expand on that really easily to get a crap ton of money pretty fast. Now you have to wait for the trees to grow, of course, but you're gonna get chunks of money at a time and I'm gonna show you other things that you combine, can combine with this to also make money. So like I said, this isn't necessarily fast. So once you start crafting, you may wanna go take a little break, step away for a minute and let it craft, especially if you're crafting 
a lot at one time. The other good thing is the chair stack. So you see here, we have our 114 chairs. Perfect. And we also had some saplings left over that I could have replanted. Now the other thing that you can also combine with this is to make rope. Rope's extremely easy to make. You don't need any crafting tables whatsoever. You can make it directly from your uh, crafting menu by hitting C on your keyboard. And it's going to cost you two fiber is going to get you one rope. That one rope is going to get you two pixels. So basically it's just a way of selling each plant fiber that you get. You're selling one plant fiber for one pixel the same way you are with the chairs and the logs. So now I'm sure you're thinking, well, how can I get fiber and how can I farm it? Can I farm it as easy as trees? And yes, you can. A lot of these starter planets have biomes that are flower biomes and they contain these tree looking giant flower stems that you see right here. Now these flower biomes have these as well as flower uh, trees, giant flowers. You don't want the giant flowers. You want the ones that look like this that are basically just tall grass. They don't have any flowers on them at all. And you go through and you harvest them and they drop fiber. Just the same way that the trees drop wood. Now they do the same thing that the trees do in the respect of additional saplings. So the good thing about these is you can expand on them the same way you can expand on your tree farm. You can start out with only a couple of these, continuing harvesting them, and end up with a ton of them. Also, in the time that it took me to tell you that, craft the chairs and replant these, our trees have already regrown. So we could harvest those again and also make more chairs, but we're not. We're gonna make rope. We end up with 432 pixels just from that one harvest of those couple of plants that I had. Once again, you may just want to step away if you have a large batch of these that you're crafting or watch something in your other monitor, tab out, what have you. So let's go to the old uh, outpost here and I will show you guys where you can sell it. All you have to do once you're in the outpost is run over to the left here. There's the Terramart. You can sell to this lady. You can pretty much sell to any shop in here. We're going to drop these in here. There's our 432. We'll go over to here to our chairs. And we easily made 660 pixels. That's a very, very, very basic way to make money. And yes, it's super simple and it will make you money. Let's go to a little bit more complex way that can make you a little bit more money takes a, a bit more preparation. So you're going to run around the planet and you're going to see things on the ground like this. This is wheat. This is white rice. And if you highlight over them and you can find them easily by holding down your alt key highlights things that you can interact with. You hit E and you pick them. You can see we got wheat seeds. If we pick that one up after harvesting it, we got our rice seeds because it leaves the stem in the ground. We'll head on over here. Here is a potato that we just ran across. Let's kill this guy, get him out of our way. You can see here, if I hold down the alt key, these flowers light up. They're useless to us right now for what we're doing. And you can see we also highlight the potato here. So we're gonna pick up the potato. We got two potatoes and the potato seed. And we're gonna head back over to our little area that we have set up here. And here is our farm. Now, I want to talk about two things when it comes to farming. There's two types of plants. There's the types of the wheat and the potato here. And then there are the types of the um, corn that you see, the pearl peas, and the rice that you see here. And the difference between those is when I harvest the wheat or the potato, the whole thing comes up and I have to replant it. I got the wheat seed there, or the wheat, the wheat seed, and the potato and the potato seed there. Now, the downside to this, and which can slow you down a little bit, is once you harvest them, then you have to go back through and replant your potato seeds and your wheat seeds every single time. Now, on the other hand, 
when we have the corn, the pearl peas, and the rice, you don't tear those up each time. Once these are ready to be harvests, all you have to do is highlight over them and hit E. Farming and setting up your farm once you have it is easy. All you have to do is go over to your forging table or foraging table and build a hoe and a watering can. Now, if you're on a planet that rains a lot, like my home planet, which you'll see here, which is on a ocean planet, rains like crazy, I don't even have to worry about the water can. I just don't build a roof over my garden, make sure it's out in the open, it rains and constantly waters my garden for me. Now, you can use your hoe from either just clicking on it or you can put it in your hot bar and all you're going to do is just highlight over the ground and click and you will till the ground. Then you can do the same thing with your watering can. You can hold it, put it in the uh, hot bar, and when you use it, you just water the, the ground like you see. Now here's a perfect example. These are ready now and I can just click them with E and harvest them. Now that saves me time because I don't have to go through and replant them every time. I find that extremely annoying. So you could have a huge garden of these. Now like I said, you do have to collect them. So you're going to have to run around your planet and find them in order to have a big garden. That's why this part is later on in the money making tutorial. Uh, rather than the beginning because it's going to take you a little more time to build up a decent sized garden to make a lot more money. Now what you're going to do after you harvest your stuff is you're going to come over here to your campfire and there's more advanced crafting recipes but once again I'm keeping this as super simple as possible. You can craft your rice into boiled rice, your potato into a baked potato, and your popcorn into a pop into or your corn into popcorn. The same thing goes with carrots, which are easy to find and found on the ground, similar to potatoes, and the tomatoes, which are harvested like the pearl peas and the rice. You don't have to replant them every time. After you go through and you craft each of these, and you craft them the same way you craft everything else, just craft them all up and then you head back to the outpost and sell them. The popcorn is going to get you 15 pixels per each one that you sell. The boiled pearl peas are going to get you 10 pixels per each one. The rice is going to get you 15. The tomato cooked tomatoes are going to get you 15. The carrots are going to get you 15. And your baked potato is going to get you 20. So the baked potatoes are by far the most lucrative if you're going to do farming. So keep an eye out for those potatoes when you're out exploring and running around. So one thing you want to do when you're initially saving up and what I advise to do is go through and farm the heck out of the um, fiber and the trees and get yourself 3000. Now that lady that we spoke to, the Terramart lady sells these Terra shipments and they're going to cost you 3000 if I'm not mistaken. And they allow you to sell stuff from your home without having to go to the shop every time. They also increase the amount of money that you get when you sell stuff. So for example, if I was to go to the outpost right now and sell this boiled rice, I would get 15. But when I put it in here, I get 23. Same thing goes for the potatoes. If I was to take the potatoes to the outpost and sell it, I would get 20. But if I sell them in here, I get 30. So selling stuff through the Terramart shipment machine definitely gives you a markup on everything that you're selling food-wise. You definitely want to invest in one of these if you plan on doing the whole farming thing. It is a very good way to make money. These trees are found on a mutated planet and they are by the radioactive stars. This is going to take you a little bit later in the game to get these because you have to upgrade your EPP unit to be able to handle the radiation on these planets. But once you can and you get there, some of the planets will have these trees. They may not look exactly like this. They may look a little bit different, but they will give you fruit. So I'm going to harvest some of these and show you here. And if I go into my inventory and go to my food, you see I have alien fruit. Now, that'll sell for a little bit on its own, but I also have the 
kitchen counter, what you get by upgrading your table, your, you know, your crafting table that teaches you how to make other crafting tables, your good old inventors table, you'll eventually get to make the kitchen counter and that allows you to make a lot more advanced foods. These advanced foods sell for a lot more than your basic foods that you make on your campfire. So we're going to go through here. I don't need anything else except this alien fruit, right? I click that, I craft it up. The downside to this is it doesn't stack, so you're going to have to harvest it in bunches if you have a huge harvest because it'll fill up your inventory. So you can go through, fill up your inventory, craft them all into alien juices and pop them in here, and they sell for 15 each. And if I drop them all in there, you can see how quickly that adds up. So those cost me nothing except a little bit of time planting them. I get crap tons of fruit off of them. They also give me additional saplings. You can see just from those little bit we harvested there, I got 12 saplings. That doesn't even fill that spot. I mean, what did we knock down? Like three? So I could expand this even more than I already have and make tons of alien juice and sell it. And then there are other fruits and, and vegetables and different stuff that you can also harvest as well. There's sea life that you can harvest that will also get you a decent amount of money. Well, if you like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you didn't like it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like the comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.